Hello, I am Deanna, the artist and owner of Alcavab Designs over at ILoveAlcavabDesigns.com. That's where I create handmade pots, planters, statues, candle holders, and more. In continuing with our web series, Us As We, presented by Alcavab Designs, I would like to continue on and introduce episode number two. In this series, we will be speaking with Aisha, or Ish, and she will be speaking to us about her journeys into entrepreneurship and beyond. Let's go. that embody an entrepreneur yes. um, I definitely feel like integrity integrity um, I feel like it's important to uh, be honest and be real with your clients and whatever you're doing so I definitely feel like integrity is something that all entrepreneurs um, should have not only integrity but as well as passion um, you got to love what you do if you do not love what you do, I feel like that you're not going to put your best foot forward. And people could tell if you're really passionate about what you do. Um, when you're passionate, I feel like you um, enjoy it more. It's not just a job. It's, it's not just a job. It's I love doing this. It's more so a career. Right. Um, so integrity, passion. Um, I also feel like another quality is... Um, time management <laughs> uh okay i feel like being on time like with my clients i'm always on time i'm never late if i'm running late or feel like i'm gonna run late i make sure i call or text them email however we communicate and i let them know that um i'm running late give me a few minutes i'll be there and then um if i am late i try to just make up on my end of the park i'll throw in extra time for you or I'll go grab you like a gift or something like that. So those are the three things for me that I feel like that's um, important. I could go on and say yeah, communication because yeah. that's definitely important. But yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> those are great. Um. So as far as mentors, um, I would say my number one um, mentor right now that I have because I work in radio as well, uh, Rick Party. So Rick Party is definitely one of those people. Um, if he see I post something about trying to give up on my career or if I have questions about the industry, he's one of those people I could text or call and he'll lead and guide me into the right direction. Um, another person I would say that's a mentor is, um, I call her my radio mom at my job. Her name is Denise Nolan. Um, she helped me through a lot of things just you know spiritually um mentally and you know she's one of those people who i could say that's my only friend at the radio station that's real she's honest mm -hmm. and um so i would name her and um another mentor um i feel like of course i would just say like my mom um i would say my mom is because i i've learned a lot from her you know i remember my mom telling me years ago that everybody is not your friend and in life you're going to have possibly one or two good friends and that's it and I didn't understand it when I was younger but as I got older and I got into like high school and college and then you know being in a career field I learned that lesson the hard way my mama was right so yeah. um, I would definitely consider my mom as a mentor in my life yes okay love it no problem this was great I didn't expect to you know get in the seat and answer questions and you know but I mean it's it's, it's great I'm honored to always kind of you know put my perspective on things and to kind of um, like motivate like whatever I could do um, I actually got a ladies empowerment brunch coming up on April 11th I think we nice. were kind of you were seeing that so it's actually a sold out event and yeah. um we're empowering 25 women, me and my uh, sister. We planned this together. And then um, nice. 
to. After this brunch, I'm actually going to start doing, now that I'm an entrepreneur myself, I'm going to start putting together women um, brunches where we get together mm-hmm. and uh, we have like business brunches. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that give us, I, I feel like I'm doing it, really doing it for the late, more so focused on the ladies because we're so divided at times. And we have to understand that uh, to, we're stronger together versus divided. And that we actually, we need each other. You know, we can, we all are, it's enough money out there for everybody. We don't have to down anyone else's business. So what if you meet two people that both do hair? Okay, y'all get together and come up with hair classes or plan a tour or something. Okay, we're gonna go to Atlanta and this place and we're gonna like slay some hair or something, you know? Um, So that's kind of like the point of me kind of trying to host brunches and stuff now and do like a lot of women empowerment. And for me coming from a background of being bullied and by people coming up in middle school and even being bullied by my own family, my own grandmother, you know, and I'm a depression survivor. I fought depression hard last year and I almost gave up, you know? So for me to be here today and to talk about it and to just have the mindset and to still push through school and grad in the midst of all of that, I pushed through school, I graduated, you know, um, started my baby, my business. So like, I still did it, you know, so uh, yeah. Thank you so much again for coming. No problem. This was a pleasure. I'm excited. Like to work with you. Me too. Um, it's it's exciting and um, like me getting interviewed. I think I spoke this into existence too. I've been interviewed before, but like you know, this is this is dope. That's what's up. Okay. Thank you so much. Have fun. Bye, you too. Yes. See you. Have a good weekend. You too. You too. Okay. Bye bye.